and we've seen it with the Lightning and just how passionate fans are here in this town without having a D1 program here in our backyard. How impressed sure. have you and your team and the NCAA been with the response to having the Frozen Four here in Tampa? Because we love having this event in town. Yeah, yeah, it's incredible. I know when I started in 2013, um, I heard a lot about the experience of 2012 and how great it was um, and was excited that I knew that 2016 was was in the midst. And uh, that's been one of my favorite uh, Frozen Four experiences. They've all been great, um, but just the, the weather and the, the different locale uh, being from the Midwest and you know, the hockey being traditionally northern, uh, northern sport, it, it was a nice change of pace for our fans. I know they like the, uh, some of our season ticket holders that get to travel, uh, you know, year to year to the frozen four. They like that opportunity to come down and get some sunshine. And, uh, you know, it's a little odd walking out of the rink and uh, sweating if you, if you got a jacket or, or whatever on. Uh, and I still wear those shorts and T-shirts uh, at a hockey event. So it's been really great. And, you know, the, the thing that stood out for me when I was there in 2016 is just the local support. Um, there, obviously, the, the hockey community, it's a, a massively growing hockey town and the, the success of the Lightning, um, but also the, the support uh, from the community. And that starts with the Tampa Bay Sports Commission and, and just uh, all their efforts and, um, you know, willingness to go above and beyond to put on a great event there.